once again, we're at Paul's house, so let's get this mother in the truck and get going to the UP. Yeah, yeah. What's up? That's the point. I got this mad mullet flow. Look at that, just luscious. Ooh. Ooh, I don't even, I mean, look at the, check the outfit. Oh, get it. What's up? <laughs> He's probably, good, that's my neighbor. You're making a good impression <laughs> on the neighborhood. Look at this guy. Got the trailer all loaded up. Just got to Paul's. Then we gotta load all Paul's crap. Go joy. And now it's go time. Get some sled. <laughs> The trailer unloaded, heater's going, everything's uh, everything outside is all set for the morning. We're just getting set up in our clothes and I mean I feel like we started the heat maybe ten minutes ago and it's probably already sixty in here. Yeah. Like, way nicer than last time. <laughs> yeah, what what was the temperature when you arrived last time? So last time it was negative eleven and this time it's like eight. So still like a you know twenty degree swing, twenty ish. But uh, makes a huge difference. Like it's amazing. You would think eight's not that warm, but between negative eleven and eight, how fast you would get things to heat up. Big difference. So real nice. So about to uh, probably get some snacks going. Maybe get the PS3 or the PS4 going. Play some games. Watch some, some TV and get uh, some zombies going. Yeah. Get tucked away for the night and tomorrow we're sledding. Hell yeah, bud. All right. It's another morning. We are getting our gear on, going to get on the sleds, and uh, go find a good place to mess around in the field. So uh, we're going to go into town, get some gas, and then we're probably going to go to that trail off 43 that we were in last week and uh, see how that's doing. If not, we'll find some other spots. We're off to a great start. Yeah, we are. She's deep, though. That's for sure. I mean, look at that. Up to my freaking knee cap.
that my exhaust is literally sitting right in this gap instead of coming out this hole. Oof. And I'm missing this rubber isolator that it's supposed to sit on. Um, it's gotta be in here somewhere. What color is it? Black. Um, is it still warm to the touch, I take it? Yeah, so I can like move it a little bit, but it's melting my gloves. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like trying to like, as you see, just. Well, you wanna take this opportunity to make some lunch and just wait? All right, well, came to the conclusion we're missing a spring and a gasket on his muffler. And there's no chance of us finding it out here with how much we've been dicking around. So we're gonna head back to the trailer. We got some coat hangers. We're gonna try to rig something up for the meantime, maybe try to find a dealership somewhere close that'll have parts. Um, and then yeah. try that. We'll do the, you know, the backwoods fix i got a coat hanger cut it twist it it'll keep the exhaust from moving around but basically we need that rubber isolator that the bottom of the exhaust sits on that sits over the frame just helps it from moving um like i said we're not going to find it out here it probably fell out the exhaust hole when it shifted but uh we'll go back make a fix and either find the dealership over in curtis or i'll just order it and get it after this weekend i mean look at this guy better late than never What's up? What's up, bud? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, bud. How was your drive? How are you doing? I don't think this has uh, been in a while. Oh, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> 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 Open it up and take one. It's funny because I bought three at the gas station. Oh, my God. There's four more in there, but they're not cold. See, so cute. Oh, that's hard to go. Love it. Uh, don't love it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Go quick. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Don't break a don't break a leg. Literally like, look like <laughs> <laughs> gets all the way up here, snaps, <laughs> snaps his leg. Look at these buffoons. Both taking a leak as soon as we get out on the trail. Just in case you guys were wondering, I'm hydrated. Yeah. You could, I heard it from over here. Yeah, I laid it on inside, and the second that I did, it was like the, the inside ski just popped a fucking stump and just shot the ski sled out from under me. What? Waist high snow, not too bad for the UP. Mm -hmm. Psych! I mean, what? That was photo magic. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, so that's how deep it is out here. Just above knee deep. I mean, Tim's a short guy, but come on, you gotta give it to him. Hey, hey, there's still snow down there. How do you feel about nice that? Shot. I feel like I've got no fuel coming out. Deeper? Yeah, get that bitch in there. Well, we had a little well, bit of a situation. We've been hitting the trail pretty heavy and no, didn't really realize that well, the sled oh, fuck. is getting oh. a little low on fuel. Someone hold this, someone hold this. Someone's got to hold that in there. Goddamn nightmare. <laughs> so, just siphoning some fuel from another. I'm a man child, and uh, so we started pumping too much fuel from Paul's tank to Brent's tank. So I was like, all right, pull it out. Fuel spewing everywhere, and I was like, I don't want to get it on me, so I back away, and Brent's just like, fuck me. Fuel just <laughs> spilling everywhere. And then, you know, we got it back in Paul's. So about even, but uh, four strokes suck on gas. So we found this little tucked away hidden ravine. So I'm not driving down. I had hip surgery previously, so I'm not really messing around too much. I'm just buying the camera. But everywhere else, they're all coming down here. Pretty cool. We got hills on either side. It's like a little bowl. So everyone's coming down here. We're just gonna mess around. Let's see what we can do. What's up? What's going on, bud? Jeez, OP. Well, Vinny's a little, he's a little stuck. So he's gonna get to digging. It's everyone's punishment. Tim's still messing around in this ravine. So he came down, came down this bowl, tried to pin it, climb up this hill, and... I'm the only tree on the hill. For the last 15 years, there's been a tree growing there and it hasn't moved and Tim found it. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. That's what she's all about. Checking in on Vinny. He's, uh, how you feeling? You're gonna learn today. Get out of the cove. Uh, I was trying to show for comparison, but we kind of buried that. Yeah. What, I mean, it was solid 12 inches down into the soil. Yeah. It's okay for every record I got stuck to. <laughs> if you look at that carve, that's like half of what it was. I give it to you for it. I mean, you tried. I don't really know where you're going. What but. did we learn today, Vinny? 
I'm not a very good snowmobiler. <laughs> Humble, I like it. Cardio is key. <laughs> Cardio, all right. I realize that when you trench it, you just give up and start digging. <laughs> and don't go out alone, because you will die. You will die. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are all loaded back up in the truck, uh, heading back to, well first Gaylord, we got to drop off uh, my sled and my brother's sled, uh, but then on our way home, so another killer weekend in the UP. Hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, had a blast. Snow was a lot deeper, um, you know, it wasn't crazy deep, but definitely way deeper than we've had, and you'll see we get stuck a couple times, so good weekend. Tim ended up making it up, which is awesome. You know, we didn't think he was gonna show, but, uh, Great weekend, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, I don't know what you're doing, hit that subscribe button, because we're gonna be sending you more sled videos, we more big, stuff with the diesel trucks. Big plans coming. Big plans coming, so hit that subscribe button if you wanna see what's going on. Once again, I'm Vinny. Brent. Paul. This is Caswell Customs, we'll see you in the next one. You stole my heart of gold After my silver soul can you take any